Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel 8 tutorial. Last day we have installed Laravel and we have described how to install Laravel through Composer. Today I will discuss about Laravel files and folders which are created after installations. So we have learned this project PHP Artisan Serve and the project is running on this URL which are generated after the artisan command execution and these files and folders are created so basically there are some things we need to know uh, especially for beginners uh, we need to know where to write code or how to create controller how to create model how to create views how to configure projects how to write routes how to access all those things so basically the main folder is app in the app folder we can see there is console ex exceptions http and models and providers so basically app is responsible for core code of your application so here console is basically we use our custom command in the console we know that in laravel we can use lots of command like to start the project we have used PHP artisan serve and there are and there are a list of commands making controllers we have separate commands for models database we will discuss in this in upcoming video after that we have exceptions basically we use this for handling the exceptions and inside the HTTP we have controller middleware kernels Control is a very important thing. We should know the details about this. So here is the basic controller, the controller.php, which is by default installed when we installed our site. And the namespace is controller, and the class name is controller. So uh, it is just like interface between database and in our HTML. After that, we can see the middleware. Middleware is just filter the request like authentication, uh, uh, encryption, and there is some others that is verify CSRF token. For authentication, we have authentication.php. For encryption, we have encrypt cookies and verify CSRF token. There is separate uh, middleware we have already got when we install the Laravel and we, we can get the models folder so this is the models folder this is new in laravel 8 uh, before the laravel 8 in the version of 7 the models are basically under the app folder now in the laravel 8 the model is in separate folder named models so user.php is the model and model is basically responsible uh, to connect with database so model provide data to the controller after that we have providers uh, here we can use here we can write authentication service routings service and all so for routing we have route service provider and for all their auth service provider there, there are another separate providers we can create also so we will know that how to create and how to use this and step by step in our upcoming tutorial so this is all over the app folder and the next folder is bootstrap here bootstrap here we have one main files and that is app.php basically we never change this file this will load our project which you can see that is uh, that this will load our project which we can see here and the next folder is config config is uh, one of the major and most important thing to know about this there are separate app.php auth.php for uh, setting your whole application we have app.php here the in app name is setting up and we can up or down environment that is in my, we can make it development for our local and when we upload this in live we can use the production 
and we can use the debug mode can set our url uh, all of these and assets you were we can set these things you know config uh, app.php and there is auth.php so we will provide the girls and we can create a web api all the girls we can provide here and there is separate broadcasting caches cons database file system so here we can provide database the db connection that is by default it is provide mysql and we can configure our database here and we can configure with separate sql that is pg sql sql server and we can define the migrations variable we can use redis and all the things we will handle using database.php and there are file system mailing log sessions so there is all other separate purpose for configuration after that there is database here the three things are there the factories migration and seeders basically we use seeder for creating fake data actually we use those fake data to to our testing purpose and we have migrations folder so by default we can see there so create user table a password table and cron fail crons table so here is the structure we can see there is the two section ups and downs so when we migrate when we learn about migration we will run details more about migrations so after that we have public folder the public folder in our public folder we have all those things that is stxs and stxs we have config and all the related things that there in our resource folder we have all the blade that we use and all the views folders and files are will be here and there is css js language whatever we want we will use in this folder and another the most important things which should know to all that is a route laravel provides different different routes for different different purposes so we have api.php web.php console.php channel channel.php by default we will get web.php basically web.php is used to create our routes and for api.php we use for our api so we can easily create api through laravel application and there is others console.php channel.php they have separate purpose we will learn in different day when we when we learn more details on that and there is a storage folder here the app and the frameworks so the uh, all the things the all over the app folder and the laravel framework files and folders all are here and the next is vendor uh, whatever we will install or by default some things that is uh, composer um, and there are some guzzle or many things we have already got inside our vendor folder and the most important thing is environment that is we will provide our environment will set our database connection here so this is our database connection we can provide our database name we can provide our database username we can provide our database password here and we can save the mail server and all those things we can do here and there are some others file and there is server.php so we can set all those things from here so friends this is all about laravel's files and folder structure next day we will discuss about the basic routings in laravel so keep watching this video thank you please like and subscribe my channel